Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be setting up the Pluvia first ever Steam emulator on Android devices. Now, Pluvia is a completely open source, lightweight, unofficial Steam client for Android devices with ability to play DRM free games from the Steam account that you own and even chat with friends. Now, Pluvia is currently under active development and it has some features such as being able to add games, being able to access and use Steam Store, configure the game settings, and much more. So, in today's video, we'll be setting it up. We'll be finding out how well does the Steam emulator actually work on our android device the last official version which was released was on march 2 and ever since then i had wanted to cover this emulator but i didn't really get any time now this is completely open source project so it is available officially on github and it is also under active development you will be able to see if we go to the actions tab the developers are still creating builds which was released about two days ago but unfortunately it's not released to the public so we'll need to wait until the next big release of the pluvia emulator with that being said if you open the emulator for the first time it will ask you to log into your steam account now i have already logged into my steam account you'll basically need to enter your steam id as usual and once that has been done your entire steam library will be showcased inside the pluvia steam emulator as you will be able to see these are my games which i have in my steam library and if we just go and check out the bottom section you get the loading section as well as friends now first of all if you want to add any game you'll need to select the game that you want to play which should be drm free so here we'll just go and select pico park afterwards it will show you all the information such as how much size it will consume and also available space on your android device once it starts you guys will be able to check the progress in real time and if we just cut and tap on these three lines we can even open the store page which will redirect you to the official steam mobile app so currently as far as i know only small titles such as this one right here can be played inside this emulator People have tried emulating lots of huge title as well inside Pluvia emulator. You can check out the video made by Easy on the Eyes. You will notice that only low end titles can be emulated. Now once the game has been successfully added, if you tap on these three buttons, you will be able to edit container settings. Now this is very important because this emulator uses WinLater Android to emulate Steam PC games on your Android device. Now theoretically WinLater is capable of running games like Grand Theft Auto 5, but unfortunately the Steam version cannot be emulated as it is just too difficult. So you'll need to tap on edit container and make sure that the image fs has been loaded inside the simulator or else your game will not work once that's done you will be able to customize the settings such as the screen resolution along with that dx wrapper graphics driver now unfortunately there are only two graphics driver which are supported inside the pluvia emulator the turnip adreno as well as virgil so we'll switch to virgil because the device which i am using does not have turnip graphics driver support in terms of dx wrapper you can choose between dx vk and so on audio driver set it to pulse audio enable show fps and everything else you can keep it as default because this is basically win later android settings so tap on the save button and that's about it let's simply tap on the play button and see if this game works or not because i have tried out this game inside the pluvia emulator in my past video and it did successfully work but unfortunately as the device which i am using does not have adreno graphics driver i am unsure if the graphical output will work so here as you just saw it crashes right here i'll put the gameplay of pluvia emulator running this game on my android device inside a snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor android device and you guys can see it works properly without any issues so as far as it goes pluvia is currently in its very beta stages and it can only emulate few low end titles which are available on steam now there has been lot of development since the march build of pluvia emulator and if you want me to make a gameplay test video trying out some of the big titles on my samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra which has a snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor then do let me know in the comment section down below that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye